Okay, so now let's go to John 10.10. 10. And so in the new manual, it's going to be on page 83, old page 71. I know Zach read that uh, previously, but we're going to read it again. So it says, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. So who's the thief? The devil. So does he come for anything else except these, things, these three things that I just mentioned? No, it clearly says that he does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is his mission. That is it. It does not say that he comes to do these things to help you to get closer to God. But that's what people believe. It's not in the Bible. You will not find that anywhere in the scriptures. He only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's it. Those are his, that's his mission. And then Jesus said, I have come that they may have life, and that they may have life it more abundantly. So that's what Jesus came for, to give life, and to give it to you so much to where it will be abundant. It will be overflowing. So what happens when you have abundance of something? It starts coming out of you. And so he gave every believer so much life to where that life automatically should be pouring out of you. And it also talks, we're not going to look at the scripture right now, but it talked about that God's life was uh, imitating, emanating so much from the apostles to where when they were walking the streets, their shadow that was cast on people would heal the sick. Can you believe how much power was flowing through those people? And it was flowing through them, and that was already after the resurrection. So we can, it's okay for us to identify with that situation with the apostles, because it was after the resurrection. So that means we can do the same things. We can walk this earth, and as we're walking, it's okay to look at your shadow. And you see a sick person, like, all right, he's healed. If you're scared to lay your hands on him, at least let your shadow on that person go. <laughs> Start with that. But that's what the apostles did back then. And we have the same life. We have the life abundant. We have the resurrection power. The power that resurrected Jesus from the dead. That, was, that is the most, it's the strongest power that exists. 